Cody Rhodes doesn't agree with CM Punk's recent assessment of Tony Khan and AEW. CM Punk appeared on the MMA Hour on Monday and stated that the AEW president is not a real boss and that AEW is not a real business. However, when Cody Rhodes was asked about CM Punk's comment during Wednesday's episode of the MMA Hour, he responded that he doesn't agree with them, saying, that's his assessment, it's not my assessment. It's always important to me to remind people that I am so proud of what me, Matt, Nick, Kenny, Tony, Birdie, Brandy, Dana, and Chris, and I name all these people because I was in those meetings. As much as the internet will spin a narrative one way, if one of those people had not been at the startup level, the company would not have happened. It's not my assessment. In my time there, the infrastructure was just being built. We were trying new things and doing things. It was a startup company, a big time startup company, but a startup company, and I wish them nothing but the best. When asked specifically about CM Punk's comments about the elite, Cody Rhodes responded by saying, I just think what happened there was a ton of misunderstanding, a ton of miscommunication. He also added, I love Matt, Mick, Kenny, and I love CM Punk, and I don't know how, but I do. I'm just happy for everyone involved. I just think it was a ships in the night thing. I wasn't there though. Cody was also asked about Vince McMahon and the allegations facing WWE's former chairman. Cody said he wants to see how everything plays out from a legal perspective and is just focused on putting on the best show possible. He also added, I don't want to be naive to it, but I put my focus solely on how do we make the show the best show possible. The excitement over Netflix, the excitement over WrestleMania 40, The Rock returning. So I don't have a lot of time to focus on that, but I'm looking at it like everybody else is in the sense of hopefully there's a resolution that justice is brought for whomever, if that makes any sense. When asked about Ronda Rousey's comments that if certain people were still at WWE, McMahon would still have a hand in running things. Cody stressed that he's only been dealing with Paul Levesque and Nick Khan as of late. To which he said, I'm not disputing anything she said or anything of that nature, but in my experience, I've dealt with just Nick and Hunter for a really long time, and the company is clearly changing. Drew Gulak has responded to Ronda Rousey's allegations that he inappropriately pulled on her pant drawstrings backstage at a WWE event. During an appearance on News Nation on Thursday, Ronda said that she was waiting to speak with Triple H outside a WWE's writer's room when someone grabbed the string of her sweatpants before walking away. She would later identify this person as Drew Gulak. Today, Drew posted to X stating that the whole situation was an accident and one that he has already apologized to Ronda for. He wrote, Backstage at a WWE event in 2022, I saw Ronda talking with a group in the hallway. I stopped to say hi and shake all their hands, and in an attempt to shake her hand, I accidentally touched her drawstring. Complete accident and one that I had apologized to her for the mishap. Ronda later said that she confronted Drew after the incident, saying, if I ever hear you putting your hands on any other woman like this or doing anything to me like this ever again, we're gonna have a problem. She then added that he backpedaled during this confrontation, but that it left a sour taste in her mouth about the culture in WWE and what is considered acceptable and how to touch and treat women in the hallways. Ronda says she also hopes that Vince McMahon is completely gone from WWE. The former UFC and WWE champion spoke to Rachel Holis on her podcast regarding her experience working with Vince McMahon and WWE. Ronda said that she found it hard to work for Vince, calling the experience a shit show, saying it was that all the time. They would be changing the show until you got out there. So a lot of the time you were doing these matches where not only do you not have opportunity to rehearse it, but they change it multiple times, cut your time multiple times, all the things you're going to say, they change multiple times throughout the day. It's a constantly changing script and choreography. I got frustrated to the point where I'm like, people aren't being allowed to do their best work. Rhonda also stated that although Vince was technically no longer a part of WWE or TKO, she still feels that his little cronies are still running things for him, specifically naming Bruce Pritchard. To which she said, Supposedly he's out because of all the sexual assault stuff that has come out. He's still running it through all his little cronies. WWE needs to completely clean house. This guy, Bruce Pritchard, I've never heard him say a single one of his own opinions. It's just Vince this, Vince that, supposedly. 
Vince is gone now, but I wouldn't be going back to work with them anytime soon because the last time he was gone, he was still running the show. Hopefully he's completely gone and they are running more responsibly and allowing people to rehearse. Ronda hasn't wrestled for WWE since SummerSlam last year when she lost to Shayna Baszler in an MMA rules match. Since then, she has worked a handful of matches, including teaming with Marina Shafir against Athena and Billy Starks on an episode of Ring of Honor TV. WWE's Clash at the Castle Premium Live event is headed to Scotland. It was announced on Tuesday morning that Clash at the Castle will return on Saturday, June 15th, this time being held in Scotland at the Ovo Hydro in Glasgow. WWE SmackDown will also take place from that arena the night before. And that's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. As always, please do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online, and I'll catch you on the next one.